Okay, I know exactly what we're talking about this week. We're talking about food, okay? Because for me, that's that one thing where I feel like I lack self-discipline. Actually, there, there are two areas. There's another place, I'll, I'll tell you about the second thing mm. uh, at a later date. I think that it's a struggle for so many people, whether you feel like you're within your weight class or not, like I just feel like it's a struggle. It doesn't matter like what shape or size you yeah, are. Yeah, I guess. Everyone struggles and, with it. And it goes and back so, to discipline, because I imagine even yeah, someone like J-Lo, sure. who looks so, so effing good. good. Oh gosh. Oh she gosh. also still oh has to make that decision. Yeah, she's she, like, I don't know, 70. She's not yeah. 70, but she's like double our age sure. at least. For sure. No, no, she's not double. Hun, we're almost 30. She can't <laughs> be double our age. But she's like in her... She's, she's old and she looks yeah. so damn she's so good. good. But I'm sure even she even she, Jada. And I'm sure they have to ask themselves, like, I want that, yeah. but is that really what yeah. I'll be happy with? That's what I just, I don't know if I have it. And this week, I'm just going to take you through all those moments in my head. Make it a challenge, that way you'll win. Have you even, and Beyonce started one as well? Yeah. Even Beyonce is on this thing, yeah. this food thing. What is hers called again? Green something. Green something. Yeah, but hers. Anyway, basically yeah. hers is about like eating less meat. And Which so, I feel like I might want to do because I've been yeah. thinking about like also like, uh, I don't know, bloatedness and, and like meat, but then I think it's good to just even if it's just one day in the week, yeah, and just like completely not have right. it, it will probably make a difference for that one day. You wouldn't be bloated, yeah, <laughs> maybe two days. We can even push it. Look, we're just gonna go yeah, we're through this week, Monday, and that's about it. <laughs> we'll go through this week and we'll see how it goes, yeah. yeah. But let me just oh my god, if Unwind. somebody follows me like on Instagram. <laughs> They were like, well, when did I quit that real quick? Because have you seen my Insta story no. for today? No, okay, I'm gonna what? check it out now. It's so bad. It's so late for Mondi. Look at what's in her drawer. Look at, look at this. It's so late for Mondi, by the way, just now. Okay, I just wanted to show you my dinner. Step one is in me trying to figure out this like health thing is using a smaller plate, like a side plate. So it's not that big. It's about the size of my palm. I've got rice, chicken, dengu, and uh, spinach. You know, I'm gonna eat this, but I'm pretty certain afterwards I'll be craving something sweet. And that something sweet will be in the form of like, chocolate. <laughs> so I feel like it cancels out what I'm doing. Kinda. Mm. It's okay, what else? At this point, um, in my vlogs, it looks like Mondi lives with me. <laughs> I'm a squatter. Hun, as I was editing like last week's vlog, mm -hmm. I realized how you're the one who was telling me that I had chicken in the fridge. I didn't even know I had chicken yeah. in my own fridge. I was like, really? And there really was chicken. <laughs> See what we can do today.
feel like such an office girl. Like I'm, <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> it's so interesting how different hair can, can make you look and feel. And it's just hair. But anyway, let's go. Okay, you guys. Let's talk about the hair. I'm now at home and I can see it properly. Wait, okay, so I was coming here to really just talk shit about the hair and be like, ah, uh, I don't like it. The whole drive home, I was just thinking to myself like, ah, uh, God, what did I do? Why did I go this way? I, I don't like it. I look just ridiculous. But now, like, I don't really mind it. Um, yeah, I don't, I, like, I, what's wrong with me? It's like, ever since I cut my hair, I'm just like, meh. Um, but to be very honest, I think I look better with the natural curl, like, you know, my natural hair, 100%. I have a mirror in front of me in case you're wondering what I keep looking at. This is what the back looks like. I still think it makes me look like I have an office job, like a nine to five. I don't know who it is I'm thinking about that has this hair, I don't know. Maybe it reminds me of my mom when she used to have that, like, not dreadlocks, I don't know. <gasps> Food time! And I am hungry. <laughs> you guys! Let me pause that. So! <laughs> uh, first of all, there's a crew here. There's a crew. Patricia Kihara. Mondi Molindi. Look at your makeup. Oh, hey! have really she come through. So nice. Thank you. Damn. Are we all ready? So we're going for Susan's uh, going away part. <laughs> Wong out. Wong out. Oh yeah, hashtag Wong out. Mm -hmm. um, so Patty quickly did this to my hair. It looks and now it looks so, so much wow. better. And then she was like, you look like a classy Hamptons mom. And I was like, uh -huh. amen, praise yeah, God. Yeah. Let it be Let Hamptons. It be, yeah. oh, it looks so cool. Okay. Hmm. I'm in my happy place. This office is for sure my happy place. I just came on here. Well, I don't know why this hair is, one of these hairs is doing something crazy. But I just came on here to say that for sure, I am so much happier with this kind of hair than I am with my straight hair. Because those three days that I've had straight hair, oh Jesus, I just, I just, no, no. Anyway, I also wanted to tell you guys something that I heard the other day. Um, and it's so crazy, like, so I knew that this week I was going to talk about food, right? But almost every conversation I've had, or, or rather almost every day I've had a conversation with someone about food and the role it plays in our mental health and like feeling, really feeling good about ourselves. And on Friday I, I uh, watched a video and it said something that just completely resonated with me and I know I have to share this with you. The video was by Pick Up Limes actually don't know what her name is but the youtube page is pick up lines very 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 good if you're into wellness and health and if you're into minimalism vegan she just is this like amazing higher level type woman and she said when you're about to eat something the philosophy around food that she has um you know right before she has a meal she asks herself does this serve my cells or does it serve my soul like my cells right my body does this serve my cells so if you you know of course things like i don't know things like maybe sweet potato green juice uh smoothies salads all that stuff they serve your cells they go towards building you building your body and making sure that your core is strong but sometimes you just want a slice of salted caramel cake, and Lord knows I have many of those times. Um, and you need to ask yourself in that moment, does it serve my cells? No, my cells could do without it. But does it serve my soul? If you answer that question with a yes, yes, it serves my soul, then have that meal, have that treat, have that ice cream, have that cake, have that cookie because it serves your soul and sometimes you do things because it's good for here you know wow i mean ever since i heard that 
it just completely changed how I've been relating with food. I ask myself that question. Usually after meals, I want to have something sweet, but now I stop and ask, does it really serve my cells? No. Does it serve my soul? Not really. Like that's not really what my soul needs. So I give myself five, sometimes I'll even give myself five minutes before I answer that question because <laughs> if you're not careful, you, everything will just be yes, yes, yes. Um, but I've, it's changed my relationship with food and I no longer feel guilty because I used to feel like crap after I eat something tasty, but unhealthy. I'd be like, oh, why did I do that? I know better. Now look at my body. This is why I feel sluggish. Look at my stomach. Blah, blah, blah. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. And I just thought I'd share that with you now. Um, that's the only reason I picked up the camera today to just like pass that nugget along i will leave a link to pick up lime's youtube channel in the in the description box tomorrow though i'm gonna take you shopping we'll go grocery shopping together i know that's not the kind of haul that people do but since we're talking about food i will show you that maybe i should start by showing you what's in my pantry now and uh yeah um, let's start there. Let's start with my pantry. Okay. So, here's a, a basic... Oh, if I can just focus. Here's like a basic overview of the section of my pantry that really deals with foods. Um, back there, we've got flour. Um, I've got a little bit of sugar, rice, some pasta. How cool are these? Although I've had them for maybe two months. And I haven't made them because I'm like, I don't know what to make it with. Mondi, if you're watching this, we need to figure out what to do. Um, now, this is the part where I struggle because this is where I usually put my snacks. When I come, like, you should see what my <laughs> my pantry used to look like. I'd have all these, like, cookies and, like, crisps and um, chevda. Like, I just would, it, it was terrible. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out what I can put there that's tasty but healthy. That's the issue. And then I've got nuts, which are almost finished. I've got chocolate. This chocolate I've had for maybe a month and something. So I'm not doing too bad. Like I'm not, I generally don't go for like the sweetest things. Um, no, what am I saying? Of course I go for sweet things. I don't know why I've not been feeling chocolate. That's what I'm trying to say. Chia seeds, moringa, some popcorn. But the problem is, this is a healthy snack. But the problem is I usually put like, caster sugar and make caramel popcorn and like there's so much sugar in there <laughs> so it stops being healthy um so i've slowed down on on uh, eating popcorn random stuff on that side and then we've got cereal which this isn't usually the this isn't the one i love to be honest um this is for other people oats you know what the truth is i probably should start eating that uh, of course, I've got tea. I love tea. I love green tea, rather. These two are my favorites, just pure green tea. And then the Green Tea Passion and Jasmine by Caricho Gold. Um, and then this is like the condiments for like breakfast and coffee, peanut butter, honey. <gasps> this is so good. I've had this twice, by the way. The First time it was even just pure overkill. I had the this is hot chocolate. Maltese is hot chocolate. I had that, and then I put some of this um, dark chocolate and like mixed it in. It was sinful, you guys. It was just it was ridiculous. Um, yeah. Oh, and then up there I've got like almond milk, some juice, um, and then I've got sweets and stuff here. I don't like. I'm not a big sweet eater, but I like to buy some because sometimes. That's just what you need to like cleanse your palate. But I, I probably eat, I can't actually, I can't remember the last time I reached into this jar, maybe like two months ago, but I know my guests like it, so it's fine. Um, yeah, that's it. And then that side is just like condiments and just random stuff, random. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so tomorrow, oops. So tomorrow we go grocery shopping and we figure out what to buy that will be healthier, right? Gosh, wish me luck. Hey, you guys. Um, I'm coming at you, makeup free and um, and exhausted. <laughs> it's it's Thursday. It's been such a long day, and it's only 2 p.m. And I feel like already it's it should be like 7 p.m. But no, there's still more to this day. And and. 
there's so much work to be done. But uh, I had a super productive meeting in the morning that was like two hours long. It was just everything my soul needed, the best. And um, went grocery shopping and I just want to take everything out and sort of show you what I did buy. Also, disclaimer, there are some unhealthy bits, right? But also, <laughs> I just figure for those moments where I'm like, oh my goodness, there's something my soul needs and I can't do with this like, I don't know, green beans and like spinach juice or all that stuff. So I, I, I thought ahead for, for when my soul needs some, some yumminess. Anyway, so I'm going to lay everything out here and then I'll show you what I brought. Okay, I'm now gonna try and quickly go through everything. Um, got myself red snap bath. I have chicken, I have um, lean mints, sausages, you know, eggs. I have we took bigs. By the way, like, like all this isn't just for me. Like I'm catering to, like it's a family. So there's other stuff here that that other people will be having just in case anyone's like Jesus. No one actually will finish all that food by themselves. Um, so Weetabix, Alpen, they had a deal on this, buy one, get one free. I decided to try out organic coconut sugar for the very first time. Again, I think it's just slowly trying new things and seeing what just I can I can bring into my lifestyle with ease. So got that. Um, yogurt and I have like natural and vanilla. I've got juice. I only got these because they were on sale. I wasn't actually going to get juice, but then I was like, oh. Um, almond milk and this one is the one with a little bit of vanilla and then I've got dairy fresh I've got uh, what is this breadcrumbs because I want to try and make like fish kebabs which is actually why I bought another one of these I have one in the pantry so I bought another one um, and this one is in brine is in salt water so and then back here I've got brown rice um, there's a time right after I'd given birth. I used to be super healthy I don't even know where that came from But I used to have brown rice and then at some point I just forgot about it, but now I'm back to that I've got soda. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but I buy soda and some other things that I wouldn't normally eat or drink for my guests because you know just because I want something for myself doesn't mean that guests want it too so I like to have like a soda option for anyone who likes that I've got peas, blue band, and butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not super healthy, guys. Come on, slow down. Uh, I have honey. I've got mustard. Um, I got wraps. Or oh, what do they actually call this? Yeah, wraps. Um, because it's probably been a year or two since I made myself um, like a, a wrap with like minced meat and, and all these veggies. <gasps> I'm so hungry thinking about it. And then these I got suckered into buying after, and you know why? It's because I went shopping when I was so hungry. And the nice lady from uh, Simon, Simon Cheese, Sermon Cheese, what was that? I thought it was Simon all this time. I don't know how to pronounce that. But the nice lady was like, oh, you should just taste cheese. The, the, she had like a table with the cheese and I tasted it. And the next thing I knew I was buying this. They had a deal where you buy two of these, which is just like everyday cheese. And you get one feta cheese, which I'm a huge fan of cheese, in case you didn't know. Oh, there's a baby who's sad. Okay, I've got ham. I tried to look for an alternative. Guys, I'm serious when I say I don't want red meat. I genuinely want to look for options that aren't, you know, pork sausages, ham, uh, lean beef. Like, I want healthier options if you have any suggestions please let me know if you have like a specific brand or something that is just not red let me know for now I'll just keep this going and then I bought normal bread uh, white bread and then I brought I bought this um, eight grain bread and I really enjoy it so this one is for 
people who don't want this. Um, and then I've got bananas. Oh, this is now the fruits and veggies section. Um, I don't like to buy a lot of fruits and veggies. I prefer to just go outside and get fresh from outside because I hate buying like loads and then you end up throwing, throwing out most of it. Um, bananas, uh, lettuce, uh, beans, green beans, what are these? Whatever. Um, this, cucumber. Uh, I bought cherry tomatoes. I've been making the salad that I really like that's just really simple. Cherry tomatoes, cucumber, feta cheese, really delicious. Um, and then I have blueberries. I got two of these. Strawberries um, and couscous. I've never made couscous, so I'm excited. Actually, no, I'm excited for Mondi to come over and help me with this. Um, she doesn't know, but if she watches this video, she will know that I'm waiting for you, hun. Um, oh God, okay, and then this is the part where, like looking at it now is when I'm like, <gasps> it looks like a lot. But in the moment, I didn't think it was a lot. So for the healthy bits, I've got, this is the snacks section in case it wasn't already obvious. Um, healthy bits, I've got nuts and I've got dates, two of these dates, I really like dates. And then I tried, I decided to try um, this just in case it's something that I would like and who knows, maybe kids like those too, I don't, I don't know. Um, and then I have a couple of packets of crisps and bites. I've got these, which I like, I like to treat myself to this every once in a while with like hot chocolate, digestive, a uh, night with like no nothing to do. This is this is the jam. Let me just tell you that. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, I was trying out for the first time. Let me just tell you this. This is this is such a lie. This is oh gosh. I thought it would be like. So I thought it would be like Twinkies and I just opened this and tried it. It's so not like Twinkies. <laughs> I really feel cheated. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. At least there were only like 20 bob each. Um, and then there's this and oh, this looked really nice. Fudge stripped oatmeal cookies. Oh, doesn't that look so good? Oh my god, I'm so excited for whenever my soul calls for this. <laughs> and then I have crackers and oh, the best, the best, the best chevda in the market. Okay, so that's it for the grocery shopping. Um, and then again, like some things I will have to buy as and when I need it so that I don't cramp up my fridge or the pantry, especially the fridge because I really have a tiny... I really have a tiny little fridge. Right, anyway, so now I'm going to actually put the stuff away and into the fridge um, and then eat because I am still so hungry. <laughs> Okay, finally done. Um, this pantry has so much potential to be like proper pantry goals, but then um, it's just, it's one, it's expensive to get all those jars at a go, and two, it's so much time. It takes so much time to put everything together, which I wouldn't mind. I think I just need to like slowly build on the jars, like maybe a jar, like two jars a month or something. Anyway, uh, I'm done and I'm now just gonna say goodbye. I just watched that ending back and I realized it was just a little abrupt and I felt a little rude, like just telling someone like, bye. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, like, subscribe, all that stuff, or not actually, you don't, I mean, do if you, whatever. Um, but more importantly, I just wanted to say that I think whatever health journey you're on is is so personal and ultimately what we should be striving for is just better decisions and daily decisions whichever way that looks like for you so i wish you all the best if you're trying to do the right thing by your body um yeah but have fun also because this life is too short not to have fun anyway i'm talking too much bye everybody i'll see you on friday <laughs>